Alright, today I'm actually going to do a tutorial on how to do the rapid-fire amber that many people say that I use macro In fact, uh, actually I told them about Rin Tai Cho's video about how to do the rapid-fire rapid that I can show you guys before I attempt it on myself Here's the video I also put in my description of my own videos too about where I learned it So do check it out and over here this is on video do sub to, sub to his channel because he's my inspiration so the way I do it and for people who think that I use macro my mouse doesn't have macro at all it's actually a very generic basic mouse well it's a gaming mice from Asus and if you think I have macro that is none of it This is my mouse settings And here's the fun part about rapid fire The lower your, your higher pulling rate means the better the response sent by your mouse And also the, the button response rate, the lower the better Because you have to spend your left click really fast and consistent for the rapid firing So I'm going to showcase here with blank Without pressing the keyboard, I'm just going to use my mouse, you can see here. The way you do it is, you want to press until it charge and let go quickly, that's how it works. You don't like, use the R key, like just do this, it's just very slow. And people say I use bug abuse, this is not bug abuse, this is actually the way to play machine gun. If you use macro, that's a third party software which is not recommended because you can get reported and permanently banned. So yeah, I do it this way, using left click. And if you use the movement wheel, it works even better. Let me see if I can put the camera at a good angle. Yep. Yeah, I can see if, if I move it. Sometimes it works even better when you move because it cancels easier when you let go of the left click and do note that if you keep shooting without moving your mouse it will move slightly to the left every time you shoot it so the way to overcome this you have to move your mouse ever so slightly to accommodate the accuracy over time if you're used to FPS game you can know where the middle is you can easily shoot the target from far away easier but as I stand far away, if I'm used to it, I can just keep shooting the text. Because I play a lot of Left 4 Dead 2, which is a very fun game, like you can try to take a look at it. So yeah, this is the way I do Rapid Fire Amber. Also, you need a very good physical build. Good crit rate, because you're gonna hit a lot of normal attacks. High crit damage when the crit rate happens. Of course, I crown her normal attack. Artifact, it's better to have blood stain and pale frame for more physical damage But I didn't have luck for the blood stain one so I just use mix With wanderer's troop and pale flame for the elemental restory When someone make cryo, I can still deal like 17,000 damage of pyro or melt damage That was pretty good So that's for my explanation of how to do rapid fire amber Hope you guys understand how this works and it's not macro so yeah and it's even better if you're close to the enemy you can like do really fast like yep you can do it like, very quickly but it works best when you're standing without moving it shoots the fast fastest it works the same if you can time it the most importantly is timing with your left click and this is actually how my previous mouse died because I pressed the left click too much during this if you're in co-op you see this is like normal but it, when other people see it's like very fast because of the connection and server issue with miHoYo so yeah this is how I do it so thanks for tuning in I'll see you guys next time 
in addition i'm gonna add on this thing that i forgot to show just now is the macro here yeah it's empty same as before wrong tab don't use macro please guys it's not recommended and you will get permanently banned Here, I'm gonna lift up the mouse here. It's easier to do on table because it's more stable than pressing it like this. So yeah. Yep, that's how it works. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.